Welcome to another edition of Insta Chat with the Journalist. Uh, my name is Andile, aka the Journalist, and today my guest is a very talented, soulful, very spiritual artist. Her name is Buche, and uh, on social media she calls herself Buche Essay. Very, very talented um, artist, very young also. And yeah, man, you know, um, I predict that she's going to rock the scene, you know, because so far she's, she's doing amazing. She's collaborating with, uh, uh, you know, dope producers in the game. So yeah, man, you know, it's not going to be a long interview, you know, uh, but I just feel like we need to get better and understand her journey because she's making dope, 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 dope house music right now. And uh, yeah, she's an all-round artist. Uh, hello. How are hi, you? hi. I am great. How you doing? I'm awesome, man. I'm very, very, um, you know, happy to be talking to you today. Um, you know, um, I've been trying to interview you, so I'm glad that today is finally happening. You know. Um, you know, yeah. I just thought that, you know, you know, your story, uh, your story should be told and I want to be one of the first people to tell your story. So first of all, who is yeah. Buche? <laughs> okay, uh, Buche is a young girl from the township in Fosleras. Um, yeah, and I love music, I love singing. So I started my music career professionally in 2014 so yeah we've been doing music till now mm. fortunately interesting man and then you know when, when when did you decide that you know you actually want to take like you know the music uh career seriously at one point in your life did you decide that you, know, you want to do this full time okay yeah so okay well i've been singing all my life since at a very young age, with uh, my two sisters. So, and then we grew up, and then some had to leave home. And so, and then I was like, Ish, I don't know what to do. I, I, have, I had to think about a career that I want. But still, I told you, and I've been like, what, what, what? So, um, well, the people helped me, be, like, isn't things realized? Like, my teachers at school, I said, like, hey, you should go on radio. People are like, oh, you're so interesting. You have the face for TV and all that. But then I still didn't take that too seriously. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think it because uh, you know, and the environment is you can't really think well, like I'm telling you fast with you. I don't go to TV never and stuff until uh, TJ, my producer, who is still my producer even now. I was like, no man, you got a gift. Uh, let's try this. He kept like singing new beats, and mind you, at the time, being as I was good, I could write songs at all. I've never written a song ever, ever. So I was like, he sent me a beat. I said, "Can you write on this beat?" I was like, "Okay, cool." And then I wrote. I sent it back to him. I was like, "Oh my god, this is so cool!" So we kept on doing that, and in that way, he was grooming me. So with other producers and all that and all that, it went on. So it was around that time um, I was I was still in high school wow. doing all those stuff. So <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I've just been. Mm. You know, you started very early. You know, still in high school, and you know, you're still very young. You mm. know, I'm, I'm not gonna say your age, you know, <laughs> but it's so amazing, you know. And and you just spoke about. You didn't know that you can, you know, write songs. And for me, your songs, when yeah. I listen to them, they sound so well written, you know. And I'm just like, yo, man, you know, yeah. you're, you're very good with the pen game. So what is the process <laughs> like when you, when you write the song? What, what, what do you, what's the process normally? It's not, it's not really a difficult one. I, I guess these things just come to me. Because usually when I'm in studio, and then they're like, okay, here's a beat. I listen to the beat, and then 
firstly i think in selling kabang the melody first if i get the melody i'm like okay 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 here's the melody and if 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 maybe we should go here even with the mood and what's inspiring me at that time maybe of maybe what's going on and then i'll just write about that once i've got everything so it has to gel with the beats the melody and make it work mm okay one of my favorite songs from you is a song that you did with uh Ujima Brown called Guka you know um yeah it's such i a love it yeah it's such a beautiful song and i think that you know when his album drops that song is going to do very well obviously guka means to me mm. and pray but you know yes. T- t- yes. tell me about you know what inspired you to write that song okay so um my background um from okay well i i say i'm a pastor's kid <laughs> but uh yeah my parents are very like uh church oriented <laughs> and church leaders they're leaders in church so with that in me obviously every time i have to like even if i do songs and then sometimes i go back and like as in let me just praise let me just praise god you know let me just you know give it that thing and all that so when i was with chino doing that song on his studio in his studio and like well he came to me like as in i'm feeling like something i want to like who can use the words of the words kuka you know something a eh, 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 praise i and i was like okay i get the gist i get the gist so when the bit played like i felt the same way so i was on it and it was it's easy to write that because well it's something i already know and all that mm and coming from um you know a background where you know it's a church family uh and now yeah you know, with the music that you do now which is I'm a piano or you know club music and having to go out a lot yeah. how is your family you know responding to you being in the entertainment space mm, at first it was not easy to be honest when when you start branching jay go be like what are you doing child so i of course um i remember there was a time where i was in sonic gospel choir and everybody was happy about that they were super excited and my family really they like satisfied by yeah 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 you're on the right track and then when i started branching out and you were like nah this is not working for me i think i want to be here i was like Why, why are you doing this then maybe when you get is cut to like i maybe she's she's still going through something maybe you're going through a stage it will pass but then it's not passing <laughs> cuz then the questions like i'm not the sense of we are like most in gospel what is it else you know or every time but <laughs> but luckily now um they 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 getting to be more understanding and they actually uh, realizing the dream so yeah they being supportive it's not that difficult i think they they got used to it and they can actually see the light and they can see what is happening mm and also what's interesting about your voice and how you write songs like you know a lot of the times you know uh, singers especially the singers that sing on house beats it's either they are very spiritual in their like ancestral african rooted type of way or you know they you know they're very like religious type of thing but you come across as both you know what i mean are you a person that's like in touch with the spiritual world uh ancestry wise i don't know if i'm making sense yeah 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 i hear you <laughs> i hear you um well not 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 uh, an ancestry type of vibe Hello Bukla can you hear me? Yes uh I lost you I lost you for a bit um guys if you if you those that are watching can you hear me I don't know if you guys can hear me because uh Bukla screen is uh it has paused so I'm not sure what's going on uh yeah no I think her network was bad uh so let's just wait for her to come back on 
Uh, thank you for watching. If you just join in, my name is Andy, aka The Journalist. And uh, I do this every evening whereby I talk to, you know, people in the house music industry. And, you know, we just, we just get to know each other. You know what I mean? Uh, so today my guest is Bukhe and she's a very talented vocalist. So yeah, you know, we're having a very nice chat up until the internet just, you know, went off site. So I'm just waiting for Bukhe to come back on so that we can, you know, continue with the conversation. And here she is, ladies and gents, she's back on. So yeah, man, you know, let's continue with our interview with the lovely Bukhe, who is super, super amazing. Uh, singer, songwriter. Welcome back. Welcome back, Bukhe. Hello. <laughs> Ash, yeah, I think my network is failing me here. Oh, uh, okay. No, no, no. No worries, man. You know, the, the interview won't be too long. So, yeah, you were answering the question about, you know, um, you know, your voice sounding spiritual and religious at the same time. Yeah. Okay, so I'm not, um, I'm not like your ancestral spirituality. I'm not, I'm not too there. I'm not the Galojel. <laughs> but uh, I'm more of, I'm taking it the traditional route. Yeah, well. So for me, it's more based on being traditional. And yeah, yeah, yeah. So it could sound that way very little more. Mm. And, 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 you know, I was talking to Josiah, the disciple, yesterday. And, uh, you know, I love, you know, the joint album that you guys put together. And uh, I just want to know, you know, for you as, as the person that obviously sings on the music, you know, what does that project mean to you? Oh, that's a beautiful project, first of all. Um, I think working with him, Nakona, uh, well, well, it's always different working with different people. So I feel like when I came to him and when we started working, Vele were both looking for a different sound. And in some sort of way, we kind of gelled together and Ngati, Ngati, our minds were <laughs> interconnected in some way of because of how we got each other and now Muti Sender is such a beautiful project. So I, I really love that project because Vele Ipuma with that traditional sound and also it is very inspiring. So yeah, Wonky, basically. Mm. And, uh, you know, Inye Bezi is uh, a very uh, yes. motivational song and a lot of people are responsible mm. to it. So what made you write a song like that? So um, this year has been a tough year for all of us. So when Jawa Bengen's this album, we were still on lockdown, and Vele won't come into So you're like, Shh, guys, we've lost a lot of people, and a lot of bad things has happened. A lot of people lost their jobs and everything like that. So my it's in amazing as well, pants. I'm just trying to say, Angewufe, but you'll only get stronger because when one door closes, the other one opens. So it can't be all that bad. And relating to me also, with him, um, um, my my career, well, it was going good, but then go figure in lockdown, and that was like time for me. It actually worked on my advantage because I see the growth from there to now. It really did wonders for me. So not everything is that bad. There's always a brighter side somewhere. Mm, very well put, man. Very well said. And you know, obviously you you know you you've been busy um and you're also you know working on your own songs, your own projects as well. Can you talk about you know some of your recent stuff that you that you just put out? Okay, so uh I have I have an EP that I released first in June. 
Yeah, in June. So that EP has been doing well. So that's the EP. And then the next one, Futi, is Ayo, where Engi and Ayo Ngi won not a train to anything. It's coming on in November. I'm still working on it, like trying to finish it and polish everything out. And in front of what he will be a big one because I'm featuring like literally everybody in the game. <laughs> you know, all the big guys. Uh, so I just want it to be, it's, it's going to be a piano only. So I'm just like, I'm putting it out there. We're like, Bantu, world, take, this is yours. <laughs> Yeah, um, are there, are there, are there people, col collaborations that you can tell us about, uh, some of the people that you work with on, on, on the next project and what is it called? The next project. Mm. I, I'm still, I'm still looking for a suitable word. I'm not going to tell you now. I'm not going to tell you now. <laughs> I'll tell you next time. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. That's that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> Look. Um. Obviously, I, I think a lot of people identify, you know, your voice with you know the Ama Piano movement. So moving mm. forward, like you know, um, I know obviously you know you can't talk much about your project, but the sound, you know, what type of sound. Uh, can people expect from you moving forward? Okay, so on this project, since it's strictly I'm a piano, but then even though it's strictly I'm a piano, it's I'm looking for different sounds even still. So that is why I wanted uh, to join in with different producers. Let me get a beat from this one. Let me get a beat from that one. Yeah, boys, it doesn't jive. And funny enough, when I go to people and say, like, I'm going to beat... A person, a person who's a second, yeah, I know your sound, I know your sound, let me do this for you, I've done this for you. So I'm like, okay, 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 let me hear it. So now, if I keep it to their comfort zone to try and do something, it will suit me. So, yeah, now I'm putting seven and one and the other one, now it's all different. Even in my writing, I'm trying to do it. Let me try something new. Let me explore this sound. How does this one feel? How does this one feel? So, Lana, it's both. It goes to your English side, your groove, 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 and then it goes to Estrada. You know, in the I'm trying to be. I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone. You be Richard, and see. <laughs> I'm trying. So I just hope it all works out, but I'm trusting it's going to be beautiful. It is. It is, actually. It's going to work out, man. I mean, it's art, you know. It's all about self-expression. Uh, yeah, it's art. Yeah. You know, mm. different things and all that. And obviously, um, a lot of... I'm sure you get a request from a lot of producers wanting to work with you. So what is your work process like? How do you get to work with people? Oh, it's not really. It's not really that difficult, man. Um, if I hear your stuff and feel good as this person is good and Siavai, so I can just like I I can jump on it. It's not too difficult. I mean, if you're good, you're good. Mm. And then, how can like if if a producer is watching right now and they want to work with you, how do they reach you? Do they DM you or how do they? How, is there an email? How does it work? Yeah, on my on my social media, on my social media platforms, there are details there. So on my Instagram, uh, underscore S A, which is B O O H O E S A, you can find the email there and the numbers you can send to, even for bookings and for everything. And then also on my Facebook, it's B O O H O E S A. So just Bushle S A. That details their numbers and an email where you can send and we can liaise forward. Mm, okay. Um, last question because the network is not really on our side today. Which artist now, do you look up to and you like, not really look up to, but which artist right now that you've never worked with do you look at and you're like, yo, Sabaweli, a creature with that person. I really want to work with that person. Mm. 
Um, let me think about it. <laughs> let me think about it. Oh, 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 but I always say this. Um, okay, in, can I, can I, can we do international? I want... Yeah, yeah, international, anywhere, right? anywhere, anywhere in the world. I want someone international, so it's going yeah. to be... Going to... Yeah. Yeah, I really, really, really love Tio Savage. <laughs> I'm hoping, I'm hoping sometime, real soon, we can get to do something together. I mean, Tiwa Savage is not far, man. She's just in Nigeria. You know, they are neighbors. They have their problems right now. You know, but I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure you can hook it up. I'm sure you can make it happen. Yeah, yeah. Not too, not too bad. <laughs> it's right, yeah. Mm. Well, man, Bukhe, look, you're amazing. You know, we love your talent. We love the, the project that you're putting out, the songs that you're putting out. You're really putting essay on the map. And keep doing that, you know, keep blessing us with more music. We appreciate you. And thank you so much for your time. Is there anything that I missed that you just want to put out there that I, I didn't say? Um, not really. I think we've covered everything. But all I can say is people should go and stream and download Umbu Miyama, which is a joint project from Bushe and Josiah the Disciple. And be on the lookout for our next coming project because now he's going to release on his own and I'm going to release on my own too. So people should check that out. Mm, wow, amazing stuff, man. Look, we can't wait for, for the projects to come out. You know, we see you, you're gigging, you know, you're traveling, you know. We want to see you. We want to see more of you on yeah. stage, you know, on the stages during this festive season. Uh, yeah, one last day, you know, how can people book you, you know, if they want you on, on, on their shows? Uh, yeah, it's, it's also simple. Uh, you can go on my, on my socials. There's an email. There's also a number. So, Vanga Posh, on my bio, and yeah, there are also pictures. So, B-O-O-H-L-E underscore S-A. On Facebook, it's Bule, B-O-O-H-L-E-S-A. They can get me. Mm, okay, and a dope guys. Thank you so much for watching this. Uh, if you just joined us, uh, this thank interview you. will be available on my timeline, so you can watch it from from start. And yeah, man, you know uh, our special guest today is Bukhe. She's amazing. You you probably have heard about her. If you haven't heard about her yet, you will, cause she's gonna rock. I'm rooting for you. I I think you're gonna give us a, a song of the year anytime. You know what I mean. <laughs> Dude, I am, look, so, fingers so, crossed. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, good night, guys. For everybody that's watching, thank you so much. Thank you, Sir Bonga. Bukhe, let's catch thank up you. next time when you drop more, when you drop your next project, ne? Most definitely. Thank you for having me. Bye. <laughs> right. Ciao.